Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Debate against the bill. Gentleman has the floor um, debate. Many people in this body actually served with a, a dear friend of mine, uh, Representative Remington. For those of you who don't know, he was a pastor up in North Idaho, Coeur d'Alene, actually at the church I attend. And um, he's the guy that was shot six times when he was leaving the uh, church service some years ago with a 45 hollow point. He survived. He's alive and well, and, and uh, well, with exceptions. I mean, he, he's still carrying some lead. But the reality is he started a program 20 years ago in North Idaho, and it's the Good Samaritan Rehabilitation Program. And what they did at the time he started, he was told that he couldn't do that, but they started a program. And they, they take in people um, basically to rehab from drug and alcohol abuse and a few other things as well. But they've been incredibly successful. They just graduated their 4,000th um, person from that program, and they have a 76% rate of success with these people. This is, these are numbers that any um, rehabilitation program would, would die for, to be perfectly honest. It's incredible what they've done. And so he's come out against this. He said, and while they, they uh, believe that drugs are bad and a lot of people die from drugs, he said the, the standards on this, this particular piece of legislation, he said that people that um, are addicted to drugs, they need to take more and more. And so a person who is addicted could be caught with quite a bit. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that they're... Um, peddling the drugs, it just means that they, they're a serious addict. And to take away the discretion of the judges, in his opinion, um, would be detrimental to the whole process. They've, um, he figured they've saved about the state about $7 million for the rehabilitation they've done, the people that they've taken out of the prison system. The way it works up there is 20 years ago when he started this program, they said he can't do it. Well, he did, and now he has a relationship with the courts. And sometimes, some weeks he spends up to five days in the court system, actually going through the courts. And he watches this happen, and they've been able to get people, um, the judges, to release people to, into their um, program, and it's been successful. So his concern is that you're going to send people to prison that perhaps didn't need to go there, that you might have been able to re rehabilitate, which is a plus for everybody because it saves the state money. It, it, and it, Puts, makes people um, basically uh, productive members of society again. He's had a couple of statistics here. He said 90% of addicts um, come from divorced homes and highly dysfunctional uh, parents. 85% of male addicts were given alcohol by their parents. 60% of their clients have parents that are drug addicts. This means they've been taught this lifestyle. And, in order to change this, they need an, an, someone else to intervene. And so that's what the program does. It's been successful. Um, I, I, fentanyl is a tremendous problem. I actually made the point at a couple of meetings we had <coughs> in Kootenai County that I, I wouldn't mind seeing fentanyl declared a weapon of mass destruction. And if you look at it, um, you find somebody with a suitcase nuke or something, they throw the book at him, and he might be capable of killing maybe 1,000 people. Who knows? Routinely, you hear people caught all the time that are um, caught with a, a briefcase or something that has enough fentanyl to kill the entire state of Washington. That is a weapon of mass destruction. And the fact is that they, uh, um, the drugs are made to look like other drugs that we're familiar with. So this is, these are counterfeits. This is to look like something. So this is, this is actually something designed to kill people. The bigger problem, obviously, with the southern border, which we can't deal with necessarily, but there are issues. I just would like to everybody know I just can't support this, and I, I, I'm sure it's going to pass, but I, I'm not sure it's the right answer. Thank you. Thank you, good gentlemen. Is there further debate on the